Yo, what's up fam? Arthur here, arthurtut.com, and today we're going to be coming back with a bit more Atomic Habits by James Clear. Today I'm going to be talking about how do you make good habits inevitable. And specifically, I want to talk about what are some of the what are some of the really important kind of one-time investments that can help to just kind of clear away the clutter and just help you to do what you want to do in your life, right? So what do I mean by that? So let's Let's start with email, for example, because this is a fun one. Everybody has email. Everybody hates email. Everybody has a cluttered email inbox, right? So this could be, could be one of those things, and I've done this. I've, I've invested a lot of time to make this, like, make this happen. But with your email, right, first of all, go through all of, all of those emails that you keep getting, all of those subscriptions to things that you don't really care about. Take some time, go through, and just unsubscribe from every email that you don't care about. All those useless flyers and promos and things that you signed up for once that you thought might be kind of cool and then just turned out to be kind of useless that you never looked at again, just unsubscribe. Just be ruthless. Just unsubscribe, unsubscribe. So that, you know, if right now your inbox is getting, I don't know, 20, 30, 50 emails a day, we want to cut that down to, you know, the one or the three or the five that are maybe actually important. So go through, do a massive unsubscribe, right? The other thing you can do, if you do have a few subscription emails that you want to keep, you can create um, folders and labels, right? So I use Gmail, and any of the regular emails that I keep getting in, I have created a, a, a filter so that as soon as it comes into my inbox, Gmail says, oh, this is an email from this sender. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it into that label, and I don't actually see it in my inbox. So I've got some of these folders that keep filling up with different emails. So like I have one from Amazon and I don't know, whoever else I follow, um, that, that get these emails, um, but I don't see them in my inbox, so it doesn't clutter up my inbox. And then when I want to, I can go and check them out at my convenience. The third piece of this, and this can take some time, if you know, depending on the state of your inbox, but literally, and I, I, I did this, I, I, I invested the time and I did this, but I went through all of my emails and I cleared out my inbox cleared it out. I either deleted it or I put it in a folder or I got rid of it or I did something with it. I cleared out my inbox and I, I hit the, the, the infamous inbox zero. Um, and I was, I was very proud of that. And I remember I hit that and then it, it lasted for about a week. And then suddenly it was like, it was filled up again. I was like, disaster. This is terrible. So then I started getting very, very, very strict about it. Again, I went, I took some time. I unsubscribed from more emails. Um, and then I made sure I do this on a daily basis now, a daily basis. All of my emails that come in, I either deal with them or I put them in another folder or I made a special folder called the follow-up folder. So if I'm not ready to deal with it in that moment, I just hide it in the follow-up folder and I'll get to it when I get to it. It gives me a sense of clarity when I look at my inbox and it's, it's zero when it's empty, right? It felt very cluttered and chaotic when it was Cool. Okay, I've spent a lot of time talking about emails. What other kind of one-time investments can really help you to be more efficient and save time? If you have certain bill payments, like you have a monthly electric bill or rent bill or whatever it might be, to set up automatic monthly bill payments so that that gets taken care of and you don't have to think about it. You don't have to use your mental energy to remember, oh yeah, I gotta pay that bill, right? The other thing, if you have prescriptions, right? You could set up auto renew prescriptions so that you don't have to do it. Other good one-time investments, or I guess this isn't a one-time investment, this is a recurring thing, but make sure that you go and you buy healthy food. Like if, if eating well and being healthy is important to you, make sure you go and you buy a whole bunch of really healthy food and stock up your kitchen with that, right? And then go through your cupboards and find all the junk food, the potato chips, the ice cream, the whatever, and get rid of them right? Get them out of your house. Don't buy more junk food and bring it into your, into your house. Keep that, keep that out of there. Now, on a more advanced level, uh, and this kind of depends where you're at and where your financial situation is, but if part of the work that you're doing or if part of the work that you're aspiring to do requires like a really good computer, I don't know, let, let's say you're doing a lot of graphics heavy stuff or you're doing video editing or whatever it might be, you're using some crazy software, um, if your computer isn't fast enough to run that and it's really, 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 really slow, then that is going to slow you down. So again, that might be a situation where it might be worth investing in a really good computer or at least a good enough computer 
so that you're not wasting time every time you're trying to use that program. Because think about it, every time that you're, you're trying to be productive and you're trying to get something done, but something is just fundamentally slow and slowing you down, it's always gonna make it more difficult. So what I would invite you to do is take a look at your life and have a, have a think about what are the, what are the one-time investments? What are the, you know, take, like, take some time and invest into this. What are those one-time things where you can just kind of like set it up, you can systematize it, and then you can set it and forget it, and then you never need to worry about it ever, ever again. I've, I've gone on a lot about email. Email really irritates me, so I'm, email was my favorite one well, on this list. <laughs> Anyway, guys, thanks. Share your share your thoughts, comments, all that down below. Love seeing the love. Every comment I respond to personally myself. So if you have any questions, let me know down below, and I will see you soon in the next one.